All right, so I'm here with Christopher Wilson, who runs organizational development for Liberty Resources in Syracuse, New York. He and I are talking TRP today. Chris, good to have you here, sir. Hey, thanks for inviting me. I think in the last few months, we've all been through some pretty crazy changes, but I'd love for you just to share a little bit more about how do you use TRP um, and what are some of the biggest you know, personal takeaways that you've had from it? <laughs> TRP is something that you use on a daily basis. Uh, a lot of what I use TRP for at home or how I've used it since I was first trained is to sort of review my interactions with the family and the kids. In particular, I have a, you know this, I have a, I have a son who has special needs and uh, he can be quite challenging at times. And after taking the TRP training, that put in in uh, really sharp sort of context. I could I could hear the victim mentality coming out of me, right? And 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 holding him or trying to hold him accountable for things that a weren't his responsibility in the first place, or you know, yeah, I mean, you know how victim mentality works. So being able to process those things most of the time in the beginning, that's an after the fact. And the more you practice that, the shorter and shorter the time gets. So what I discovered during our um, quarantine, or as my kids call it, corona break, um, is that the stress level, my wife and I both are now working in the home. My wife's a teacher, so she's trying to teach online, is engaged during this. I'm a trainer for the organization here, so I'm also online trying to keep things going on. And the kids have their own stuff. Uh, happening. So like every family probably <laughs> across America, tensions got pretty high. What I discovered that I had the capacity to do was start to sort of process my feelings in the moment and buy myself that time to be able to respond rather than react. I took this sort of frustration and stress and energy I had and I decided to start walking the dogs uh, and, and have them get some exercise so trying to reverse the flow put that energy to positive use and this turned into probably an hour and a half every day mm -hmm. of me walking the dogs and i started to lean into that you know put on some podcast whatever this became sort of my alone time to where i really looked forward to walking the dogs every day right in the end of april again like many americans uh i was uh i was laid off Mm -hmm. uh, the company had to furlough some employees and I was not immune to that. And so, again, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't handle that great for the first week I was, I was furloughed. There's a lot of stress about getting into the unemployment system and getting what's going to happen if I don't get paid and, and so on and so forth. Plus, if I'm being very honest, I've worked at this company for 13 years now and I had a really, my pride got in the way, sort of reconciling, um, essentially being deemed non-essential at that point, right? Because all of our efforts were cheering on our essential workforce and so on and so forth. So by default, nobody told me I was not essential, but by, by default, you just kind of say, well, I guess I'm not needed. So I spent the first week of April, or the first week of that furlough in April, uh, feeling sorry for myself on the couch. And then I decided I had to do something. And like most things, uh, a lot of your TRP fans and trainers will be familiar with this. Uh, I was moving some stuff around and that TRP workbook showed up. And so I thought to myself, you know what? What's the opportunity that you have right now? I got scaled back to only 16 hours a week. Uh, so a lot of free time, what's your opportunity here? And so I took that opportunity. I kind of figured out what was working. And by that time I knew that the dog walking was my sort of, you know, mental health release. It was also good for me in terms of walking. So I decided to focus on my health and use that time to do that because I, I'm, you know, classic, man, if I only had more time, yeah, I would go to the gym. I would do, do whatever. So I took the opportunity uh, to try and do something positive and productive for myself, uh, re-engaged in some dietary stuff that I had been doing that was successful the year before. And for the first time ever, that walking the dogs started to translate into me trying to jog a little bit. 
I would take them home afterwards and then I'd go another time around the block and see if I could jog to the next mailbox, the next mailbox. That turned into a little bit more formal goal setting. I wound up uh, getting a program to train for a 5K and then a 10K, um, which I actually accomplished on Sunday. I ran oh, Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I actually ran my first 10K, so that was awesome. And I'm down about 25 pounds. Wow. Just when I look back at what I would have done without knowing about TRP and being aware of those concepts and looking for that opportunity to do something positive and productive, um, it, it would have been a lot of couch that's, sitting. You know, that's a way that in looking back over the last several months that I've been able to utilize the, the principles uh, personally.